and since part of it was not as much commercialized, but at least to create an environment where the, 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 the indigenous people around these areas will have benefit out of it for food, food security, etc., etc. A massive catch of the Atlantic seaboard, flowing rivers and interconnecting wetlands make the Gambia one of the richest and most diverse fishing regions in Africa, with immense mangrove forests greatly conducive for fish breeding. An overwhelming endowment and government has forever been questioned to attract increased local participation in the burgeoning trade as foreign vessels continue their infringement into national waters, making the most of vast fish resources waiting to be exploited. You have, of course, on more commercial basis, areas where storage can be. You have the Pelican Seafood, you have the Atlantic Seafood, you have the Kendake Seafood. You know, these are all areas where you can keep your catches for a period you want to. And um, the final nail on the coffin wall, I, I will say, is by government's effort and um, the never resting of the president to see that things happen. This project was born again in the same time. That is the Wife in Jago project, which we call the Banjul Fish Jetty. Yet providing badly needed resources has been at the fore of priorities, driving endeavors to get communities and fish of folk, reaping the most of this recreative industry. From the provision of fishing nets, programs building expertise, and the institution of viable infrastructure, boosting the fisheries business has been one of the principal aims of the country's present administration. The slogan has been on since uh, Professor Jamo took over this country. Yes. And it still continues. It's not new. During the course of the tour, you heard him. And um, there is now this big campaign where we will want to make sure that, I mean, we will get our folks to go into the sea. And again, President Jame has created the environment again, and um, the facilities will be created. Besides, all these centers will be given, like, to start with five fishing canoes, with fishing gears, for them to organize and start doing it themselves. Preserving fish resources is a key part of ongoing efforts, and aquaculture has certainly been crossing new paths ever since President Jame paved the way, bringing cutting-edge initiatives which have been successfully replicated across the country. Several technical projects and a booming import sector could make the brand the most viable in the fisheries trade. You will still see the intervention of President Jame into this field again because he's leading by example. You see, you've been to Kanilai. You saw him started the aquaculture there, and he has already expanded it. That's where it started. And thank God, with our relation with the Taiwanese, they've done a lot to, to develop the sector. We've got the hatcheries and all the sets in Sapo now. And by I'm telling you now, there are youths provided by the youth, Minister of Youth and Sports who are being trained into this field. Beneficial, healthy, and financially rewarding, the fisheries industry presents enormous opportunities and prospects to bolster lives and incomes. Yet constant reliance on non-Gambians for both expertise and service could be draining efforts as more people from around the sub-region look towards the country's seas for gainful employment. Ibrahim Ojata, TRTS. Well, we'll apologize for bringing you there the, the wrong report. The report that just ended there by Ibrahim Ojata looked at the improvements in the country's fisheries sector as part of our coverage of major breakthroughs marking the 19th edition of the July 22nd Revolution. Over now to our earlier mentioned story. <coughs> the President, His Excellency Sir, Professor Najib Dr. Yahya Jame, has presided over an Islamic conference in commemoration of the 19th anniversary of the July 22nd Revolution thematic issues and problems affecting Islam, as well as the threat posed by the growing endorsement of same-sex marriage by countries in the West were discussed at length. Abdul Jai has the details. For Allah's guidance, blessings and protection, today we have a lot to rejoice for and celebrate the fruits of 19 years' journey through turbulent waters and stormy weather. Officiating the start of another celebration kept low-key for the month it falls into. 
Through his traditional address, the president urges greater reflection on the historic passage of the revolution, saying the period allows for stock taking on the state of our moral well-being and our adherence to the teachings of Islam. As human beings, we should always live our lives within the limits set by our religion and natural order and reject the moral decadence of homosexuality, lesbianism, and other immoral acts that are slowly creeping into our lives as individuals and society in general. However, we are thankful that such ugly phenomena will not take root in our dear country. The 19-year celebration of the revolution has been packed on the theme, Let's live and behave according to our religion, which openly renounces all acts that contravene the teachings of Islam. The theme was a topic of discussion at a night-long ceremony, beautifully graced by His Excellency the President, Sayyid Professor Dr. T.I. Jami. The Islamic Conference also attracted the entire government machinery, including the Vice President, Her Excellency Sayyid Dr. Isis Tunjai Saidi, and scholars from around the country to discuss the position of Islam on same-sex marriage. Dr. Abu Wakar Senghor of the University of the Gambia spoke on the genesis of the problem, denouncing homosexuality as unnatural, sinful, and ungodly. The practice, he said, goes against the purpose of creation and should be shown not only for the threat it poses on civilization, but also for disrespecting the human soul. <laughs> To some, there is nothing more extreme with regards to acts that contravene the teaching of Islam than adultery. But as bad as it may be, adultery does not go against the cause of nature, but same-sex marriage goes against the cause of nature. When the people of Prophet Luth brought themselves down to the lowest level, that was when God ordered for their destruction. God is the most powerful. He expanded on the topic to call for total support of government's position on the issue, extolling the government leader for his defense of the Islamic religion and for living by its dictates and practices. The doctor went on to state that there cannot be any failure with regards to a system that has existed for 19 years and the structures and organs created by the revolution, he said, cannot therefore fail. He paid homage to the bravery manifested by the then young Lieutenant Yahya Jame in liberating the country on that fateful Friday morning of July 22, 1994. As a student in Malaysia, Dr. Senghor had followed keenly the events that unfolded and the transformations that followed putting the Gambia into another pedestal, giving it future and prospect in the eyes of the world. The discussion continued with Sheikh Ibrahim Jeju, taking on the team effects of sins on individuals, society and the environment. Hadija Tujak treated the rights of women in the West as compared to those of women in Islam, whilst Mabintu Sankung Sise took on children's rights. Speaking at the ceremony, the Secretary General and the Head of the Civil Service, Mamoru Sabali, who also doubles as the Minister of Presidential Affairs, thanked the President for initiating the Quranic recitation, encouraging the scholars to spread the agenda of the revolution through such gatherings. He enjoined everyone to participate in the prayers announced for the celebration and to offer deeper prayers for the brain behind it all. Preceding the Islamic Conference were special prayers offered in mosques and churches around the country. At the State House Mosque, Imam Abdullah Fati led the ceremony with the recitation of the Holy Quran. And Wasipas in Pirang also celebrated the event with similar functions, praying for the well-being of His Excellency the President and for the peace of the country. Abdinjai, GRTS. The office of the President congratulates Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton on the birth of their first baby. President Jami and the first family and the people of the Gambia extend congratulations and best wishes to the royal family and the people of the United Kingdom on this momentous occasion that coincides with the 19th anniversary celebration of the July 22nd revolution. Exorcist, okay. If all goes according to plan, some of major health centers in the Lower River region could soon start operating on a host of complications affecting pregnant women and newborns. The health facility that attends to the health needs of thousands of people now boast of a minor operating theater, a development described as a major boost to the region's health care delivery. GRCS made the discovery during a recent visit to rural Gambia. It has been in existence for years now, but this is the first time that the facility is benefiting from an operating theater. 
as part of you know the 